What's going on, guys? Future Specs here, and we are back with another video. Um, I'm Joey. This is my boy, Wes. Wes, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm ready to talk about some sleeper keys. Yeah, man, we're ready to talk about some sleeper keys, but before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. All right, Wes, so let it, the people know, what is a sleeper key? Well, a sleeper key is a type of spec book that is either super cheap right now and that's about to explode and nobody's talking about it, or it's just starting to come up and it's on the rise. So it's the perfect time to get these type of books. Yeah, definitely. So this is like a spec book that not people are talking about. And, you know, per the name, it is a book being slept on. Um, so definitely under something undervalued because we like to buy not the super hot books, but the books that are not hot right now, yeah, but the might ones get no hot. one's focusing on. Exactly. All right. So our first book up on the list is Fantastic Four issue 570. Now, Wes, let's tell the people the significance of this book. Well, this book is the first appearance of the Council of Reeds, who, if you don't know, is lots of different ver multiversal versions of Reed Richards who come together to form this group to fight against multiversal problems and enemies like Dr. Doom and all that type of stuff. Yeah, so, dude, we're getting Dr. Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness, right? Yeah. And this is movie is rumored to have a Reed Richards cameo with John Krasinski. So, dude, it only makes sense that we would see some little type of form of the council of reeds in this movie i mean yeah. it would be super sick just kind of see them hanging out like you know what i mean like it like they're going through the multiverse this is and we're gonna see reed richards why not the multiverse group of reed richards you know what i mean yeah and if you go into the origin of the council in this issue it was formed by three reed richards that got their ver their universe's version of the infinity gauntlet and in the loki disney plus show we've already seen infinity stones from other dimensions so this could be something that they branch out into bringing the council in that way. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, uh, we threw up the A cover now, throw out the variants. There's a bunch of them. I think there's five total covers. Yeah. Um, this goes for, like, anywhere between 5 and $25 raw, so obviously pretty cheap. Yeah. The sketch cover seems to go for a little yeah. bit more of a premium, but the other ones are around the same area. Yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah, it's. I mean – there's a bunch of cool covers. I especially like that uh, 65th anniversary frame cover. Yeah. Um, and it's a, yeah, it's a really, just a really awesome, fantastic four book. All right, guys. So next book up is Power Man issue 17. Wes, tell them what the significance of this book is. Well, this book is the first time Luke Cage is called Power Man, which, you know, is kind of his hero version because he goes by his just normal name a lot. But it's also when the title changes over from Luke Cage Hero for Hire to Luke Cage Power Man. Right. So in the last panel of this book, um, I think he's saying it did Daredevil, I believe. But he says, and by the way, the name is Luke Cage, Power Man. And then boom, from then on, it's called the, the book yeah. is called Power Man. Um, but this is a, I think this is a really interesting book because we know we're probably going to get Luke Cage in the MCU at some point. I mean, probably all the Netflix stuff. stuff is probably yeah, going to come in somehow. Right. So, you know, it would be interesting to see what this book could do if it is called if the show or if he is referred to often yeah. as power man if the show is called power man you know what i mean like i feel like this book would definitely see some gains you know what i mean yeah and i mean you know the luke cage one is pretty pricey already you know i think it's still a good book to invest in but if you want a cheaper option a little bit of a different type of Luke Cage key. I think this one is definitely one to consider, especially since it's selling for like ten to fifty dollars raw on eBay, depending on yeah. the condition you get. And uh, probably you can go to your LCS and find it in oh, the back yeah, ends fairly easily. Yeah, that's a great thing about these sleeper keys, man. Is you can you can just go to the LCS and find them for cheap, like you know, rather yeah. easily. You know, they're they're great books just to grab. All right, guys, next book up on the list is Iron Fist issue eight. Look at this beautiful. John Byrne cover. Yeah. This is probably my this is my favorite Iron Fist cover. Let's be real. This is yeah. an awesome Bronze Age book. But also it is the and not a lot of people, you know, realize this, but it's the origin of Iron Fist. So 
West. We know we're going to get Iron Fist in the MCU at some point, probably. Hopefully, Most likely. Hopefully not the same actor as Netflix. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but, Good um, thing the multiverse can fix that. Right, yeah, exactly. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, once a character pops in the MCU, we see his first appearance go up. We see his second appearance go up. We yeah. see his origin go up. This is an origin, but also it's a great cover. That's a double yeah, man. I, I didn't know about this book until you mentioned it to me. So yeah, I, not I a think lot of people like, might know about it. I think this is a great one. Um, and this book is pretty cheap. Um, that raw again, another ten to fifty dollar book. You can definitely find at your LCS. Um, nine eight sold in December for four hundred fifty dollars, which is a little bit up there, but it is a nine eight from the Bronze Age, so it yeah. makes sense. And but a nine six actually sold on eBay. I think it was in November for just one hundred fifty bucks. So yeah, that's a steal of a price. Yeah, it's a really really nice book to get into, um, especially if you're speculating on Iron Fist. Uh, really great book. I mean, and even if it doesn't hit, you've got an awesome Jut and Burn cover for your collection. So hundred percent. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Again, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Um, and drop a comment on if you're going to be picking any of these books up in the near future. Let us know. And Wes, tell them where to find that fourth sleeper key pick. Yeah, you guys definitely don't want to miss the fourth book over on the CBSI Comic Book Invest website. There's, we're going to have an article there with this fourth pick. So definitely go and check it out over there. Link is at the top of the description. Again, that's comicbookinvest.com. Make sure you check it out. and Drop a comment on that, too, and let us know what you think. Um, but yeah, head on over there. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. See ya.